Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, President William Samuel Ruto has finally concluded his visit of Homer Bay County. As we are speaking now, Ruto is in Kisumu County. And uh, there are several things you could easily notice from regarding the Gashagwa on William Samuel Ruto's visit to Homer Bay County. You know, when Gashagwa come to Nyanza region, he becomes a national leader. That one you could easily see. He literally become the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. But then, when he's somewhere in Mount Kenya region, Kashagwa, or even in Nairobi, he become a deputy president of Mount Kenya region. He don't come out as a national figure. He literally becomes so much tribal. And it is very absurd that even in Nairobi, he could easily remove the ethnic card. He becomes so tribal. But in the visit to Migori, and of course we will do the same in Kisumu, he comes out with a national figure. <laughs> Number two, Gashakwa was actually very helpless and so much confused to see the kind of warm welcome William Ruto attracted in Migori County. This is Migori, not Migori, Homer Bay County. This is something he did not expect. He never expected for this. But Ruto was warmly received. Mammoth crowd. And I want you to closely look at the body language of Rigadhe Gashagwa when Ruto made his entry to, to uh, Homer Bay County. What is body language? As Ruto was waving to the people. He couldn't wave. He was helpless. And that is a signal of someone who has anxiety. Now, before William Ruto's visit to Nyanza region, Honorable Kaleb Hamisi had a message for the people of Nyanza region. And this is what he told them. I quote him. Dear Nyanza people, tomorrow Ruto is visiting. According him the biggest mammoth crowd ever witnessed since the death of Id Amin Dada. He is our president until 2027. Beside, voting patterns and development of the nation are not Sames twins. Now, that is Caleb Amisi. I think this is self-explanatory. I don't need to analyze that. So take it the way you've had it. We are continuing with this panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our channel subscribers, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you and back to this discussion. By the way, we are at 28,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Soon we'll be turning 30,000. So let us keep on subscribing and sharing this videos to more people maybe some of my viewers did not understand why i said that gashagwa becomes a national figure and a deputy president of the republic of kenya when he is outside nairobi and mount kenya region but he become a tribal deputy president when he's back home i will explain myself this is what i mean some time back, when Uhuru made his way to Nyanza region, he initiated several projects. And Gashagwa was among people who condemned Uhuru Migai Kenyatta for going to Mount Kenya region and giving them some goodies. Gashagwa was among people who said that Mount Kenya voted for Uhuru Kenyatta to a man. But instead, he decided to go and give project to the people who never voted for him. In fact, those leaders in the Mount Kenya region say that Uhuru Kenyatta Amebeba Maendeleo Yenafa Lita Kwetu E, Pesa Zetu, Amepelekea Wale Watu 
wanyanza wana wampigia mikura he has literally carried our development to another region at our expense after voting for him look at that were they forgetting that nyanza region is in kenya did gashagwa forgot that nyanza region people are paying taxes did he forgot that the taxes collected in this country need to be shared equally distributed in the entire country that was the gashagwa when he is in mount kenya so he need to learn a lesson that when you start saying that you will give the allotment depending on how people voted for you as a president even this one goes to an mca or a member of parliament anywhere whatever you are that's wrong development should be distributed equally because everyone is paying taxes ukinunua hata sukari unalipa ushuru when you are running a shop you are paying taxes everyone is paying taxes no one is evading taxes what we have seen is a president who has given jobs to people who are even evading taxes ile fair mount hotel yenye walikuwa kule ule jamaa alipi ushuru hamfuri karuki alipi ushuru huyu mwingine wa huyu wa pombe eh, alipewa kazi na president ile 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 taxes yenye alikuwa maevad yote wamesema kwamba mpe nafasi alipe pole pole Kenya are paying taxes so they need to see those taxes uh, being reflected in terms of development na mishara ya watu so that's what i mean and and of course we have heard several when he talk when he said about Kenya region again he talked for the people of mount kenya but not for kenyans you know even ruto was a tribal leader but he never came out this much open and combative to bring the tribal uh, picture every time when he is out or in rift valley so that's the first thing so from there, today going forward eh, you know perception is very important anywhere and everywhere that perception that ruto has created in Ma- in uh, migori county it has scared Rigathe Gashagwa because Gashagwa to some extent eh, he was trying to blackmail William Samuel Ruto that it is only us who voted for you so you have to consider us in development and many other things Ruto took 3.2 billion development to Nyanza region at the end of his visit and end of what a 3.2 billion that's good and again is giving more promises but i would learn, want to tell the people of nyanza please take your notebooks every time go to give promises write down any time we come back when you are welcoming him it should be the first thing you remind him please you promise this one can you deliver i remember during campaign when he was coming to western he could go to an extent of even mentioning and completed the projects Njia anasema njia fulani mamaliza na hapana hiyo haijaisha hiyo barabara ni ya mara anashangaa anakuwa pumbuwazi ana sasa anakuwa amechanganyikiwa na hiyo sasa ni aibu yote so kila saa kuwa na notebook akirudi please sir complete this one he kwa ni aibu kwake so that now he will make sure that he has been pushed to a corner to complete everything he has promised so any other time welcome him and remind him complete those project so the shagwa he will think twice that ruto can easily go into he can team up with some people somewhere else he will ask himself if this is nyanza receiving ruto like this what about western where we have dangled some carrots because it's like that william ruto government will be in the hands of someone in western region what about that So that one is a big threat to the Gaza Gashagwa. The Shagwa actually anticipated that William Ruto will not receive such kind of welcome. So that now when he go to Mount Kenya region, he get a mammoth crowd, huge crowd welcoming him. Then from there, the Shagwa will play the blackmail card. So that one it has been 
dismissed. Another thing, you know, tribalism is very bad. Just imagine, I know President William Ruto has promised to uh, give a processing plant, fish processing plant, to the people of Homer Bay. That's good. But just imagine, because of tribalism being brought into governance, a very sad thing. A whole processing plant was taken to Nyanza region, sorry, was taken to Mount Kenya region, where people are doing fish farming in ponds. Watu wanatengeneza vidimbi wanafuga samaki alafu walipelekewa mradi mkubwa wa fish processing plant a plant that missed to be taken to a region where it was meant to be fish plant was supposed to be in Nyanza region where we have a lake samaki wako wa kutosha ni huo mradi tu ilikuwa uwekwe pale processing plant ikuwe na tupata samaki wa kutosha wa kuweka uh, is quite spread into this country watu wa Kenya wapata chakula ya kutosha ya samaki mheshimiwa uhuru kenyata alikuwa pia mkabila sana kabla ya handshake he was a bad president very tribal if indeed william ruto will give that project to nyanza region that one it will be a plus in as much many people is not supporting him hata mimi sikumpigia campaign mimi sikuwa mtu wake na hata bado mimi niko tu hapo kwa upande wa opposition that i will say it is a plus and william ruto atakao mfana kitu ya maana uhuru kenyata alifanya ujinga sana mradi wa fish processing ilikuwa ikwe nyanza mahali kuna samaki lakini kwa sababu ya ukabila na maybe watu kama gashagwa wenye walikuwa wana blackmail yeye na watu wengine kule nyanza mount kenya ilibidi amepeleka huo mradi kule So hii sasa ya ukabila inafaa iishe mambo ya eh, governance ikiwe kando isichanganishwe na ukabila something very bad so that one is a good promise but we will wait to see the implementation kwa sababu pia tunajua mheshimiwa William Ruto ni mtu mwenye anapenda sana kupeana eh, promises the hewa he will give promises which will maybe not see the implementation so tutamoja tuone if mudabadi will follow to the end to see if that project will be implemented i don't know your views but that is what i could notice so let us meet in the comment section to continue with this conversation thank you so much my good people